These are the Renegy 100 watt panels, two of them. Have them run together with the connectors going to one out right there. And coming through here, running down there, coming out here. And then here's the end. So I have been going through all these connectors, bunches of them, trying to connect this to the Go Zero Yeti 3000, and right here into the Anderson Power Pole port. So I've gone through all of these, and I really didn't know a whole lot about it. First, I ordered these little guys, and I just could not get them to go on. The little deals that go inside here were too small. So then I had to use a little jumper cord onto the big cord because as you can see, these cords that come out of the Renogy are pretty big. I was able to find the positive lead, so I got that marked, not getting them touched. And I've gone through the bigger ones too. These are the 45 amp 10 pair. I think that's about the biggest ones you can get with the biggest openings as far as how to connect this onto your cable. So, I've tried to pinch them and do all the kind of stuff with them. As you can see, the gap in between there. Well, that gap is a little bit big to go into that small little square inside here. So, I started crimping. Best thing I found were just some regular kind of needle nose pliers. I'll show you what I did. And another thing you're gonna have to look out for is have this gap right here this gap is going to be crucial so you can push all the way in because this little guy slips in here and it needs to go all the way to the end this little hook as you see that little hook right there that hook in order for it to work work right as you see that little tab right there has to go all the way over the end of that tab and let's see if i can find one so therefore to in order for that to slip in you need to make sure you cut back enough but you don't want to cut back too much and expose wires. It's kind of like this fine line. That right there, see how that one goes all the way over the tab? Pushes it way up. That one's in there. That one pushed in, but the cable came out because you can't crimp it enough. It's, this is just a crazy thing. So what I'm going to do now is, since I have these kind of pinched on there pretty good, before I slide them on, I'm going to solder them. And let's see how that works. All right, so I kind of got it clamped up where I want to put the solder. Make sure the wires are pressed down. And I would advise probably unplugging the system while doing this so you don't accidentally touch the two leads. Guys, I don't know if you can see this over here, but I've got an old school soldering gun built in England. Now, I got it plugged into the Yeti. This wonderful soldering iron that I've used maybe twice that I got off Amazon, probably built in China, just doesn't work. Wonderful, huh? Yep, in the trash, garbage. Pulling two amps. 12 volt seems to have plenty of heat all right so got it soldered in probably should just be able to crimp it but i tell you what this old 12 volt soldering iron model mlx 25 i think is what it says it's also old antex made in england dude if y'all gonna find one of these for van life, it's the bomb. I don't know what to do at this point. It's so frustrating. It's just ridiculous. It is ridiculous being in there. I have a challenge for you. See how long it takes to set up a Renogy cable into Anderson Power Port. See if you can beat five hours. 
See if it takes you longer than five, maybe six by now. Cause it started raining, I had to put everything up. So anyhow, on my 12 volt soldering iron, I had to clip these off cause that was just crazy. And guess what? Put in some Andersons. Uh, they went in pretty good because I had some small ones. You still have to uh, grab something and literally push push it in there. Like weather has been absolutely bizarro here. It broke? Are you kidding me? Are you seriously kidding me? All right, guys, well, we got it all together. And we'll see if it's a success or not. Eight watts. 200 watts giving me eight watts. Yes. Awesome. It is overcast and stuff. Uh, Go Zero Yeti. You know, if you look over here, you basically only have this outlet and this outlet and then these two. I believe these are like six millimeter. But um, with this guy right here, you can connect that to a basically a fuse panel. I got this guy right here and it is a Shunzi Hui or something. I don't know. Model F1005. And uh, it's got this input right here. And then all the way up to eight, eight outlets and the fuses go from three amp up to like 20 amp up here. So, or you can change them out however you need. But anyhow, I'm going to put this in on the uh, Gold Zero Yeti. And um, yeah, be able to hook up the fans and a couple other things to it. So here we go. So Anderson power pole connections must have been developed by the devil or somebody close to it because they are the absolute worst design in the whole world but if you like wasting a lot of time a lot of money and being totally frustrated then they're the thing for you and it's absolutely absurd these things you think you have it all crimped down flattened out all ready to go in and the damn thing won't go in all the way in clip it's unbelievable <laughs> These things start smashing and, and at the end, it's unbelievable. You know, another thing I'd like to bring up about the uh, Anderson power pole connectors is that you just can't go find them anywhere. They're not like the old school ones where you can just go to Walmart or any little hardware store. 
pick something up and crimp them together. These guys are specialty. They're expensive. You probably have to have specialty crimpers with them and they really don't work that well. Well, the Shunzi Hui I was able to get these cables made and one of them I don't think we all the way clipped in and I'm ready to plug it in. But again, with these Anderson plugs, you know, they just push in. They don't lock. They don't do anything. They just kind of stand there. So you don't get like a real solid connection. I don't understand why they would go with this. But anyhow, this box is made out of metal. Seems pretty heavy duty. Let's go plug it in. Just a tiny little groove here and a little reset there, so. You see that? They kind of slide into place. Like that right there. All right. So we got power here. I can plug in. Other stuff. fan well guys this is a way to expand the yeti and uh like i said earlier this is a way to get that guy in Whew. wish they came up with a better method as you can see the yeti is at 100 percent the dometic's only drawing like right now 0.3 amps this hasn't been off 100 yet but i had had it plugged into the panels and uh Pretty stoked with it. Also ran the weld, the soldering gun really well, and does the fans pretty good. Anyhow, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you got any comments, please leave them, and we'll see you on the next time. Bloop.